Welcome back kids. Today we will talk about force. Look what these children are doing. They are playing tug of war. Are they pulling on the rope or pushing it? A force is push and pull. When a force acts on an object that is not moving, it can cause the object to start moving. Like this boy is pulling the box with the help of rope and the other boy is pushing it. They both are applying force on the box. When we kick or throw something, we are pushing it. We are applying a force to move it. Many actions in daily life are pulls and pushes. Let's discuss some of them. Look at this man. He is moving the ball by kicking it. He's applying force on the ball. This man is pulling a fishing rod. Force is also applied in lifting heavy things like weights. And also in doing simple chores like sweeping. Force is also applied when we use something to hit another thing. Like hitting a ball with a bat while playing cricket. A force have many effects. It can change the shape of an object. It can make an object start moving. It can make a moving object move faster. It can slow down and stop a moving object. It can change the direction of a moving object. There are forces all around us. A toy car move when we give it a push. The muscles in our arm exert a force on the car to move. Do you know that our muscles can exert forces too? Kicking or throwing a ball to move it are examples of forces exerted by our muscles. Can a force be exerted without us touching the object? Let's find out. A battery-operated toy car can move without us pushing it. Do you know how it can move? The battery makes the electric motor inside the car move. The motor then exert a force on car to make it move. How about machines like cranes or fans? Can they exert force too? Yes, machines exert forces. These forces can be used to move things and do work. Let's see some examples. Fan moves at high speed to keep us cool during hot days. A washing machine and dryer uses force to wash and dry our clothes. Cranes help us to lift and move heavy things. Trains transport people and goods from one place to another. There are forces in nature too. The earthquake is an example of natural force. It can damage many things. Typhoons and cyclones are moving winds. They are also examples of natural forces that causes damages. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at the study pod Z.